You might not recognize Ashley Peterson, but you probably know her story. In 1998, a foster child thrown into a controversy a seven-year-old couldn't understand, whether she should live with her foster parents or the man the state of Indiana approved for adoption, a man who happens to be gay. I am a Christian, I believe in God's word, and he says it's an abomination. A decision the state then reversed. Uh, we're mom and dad. A year later, her foster dad, Butch Kemmerling, was arrested and then convicted for molesting Ashley. I'm the one who is guilty of what's, what's happened. Ashley's name never printed, but now she's coming out of the shadows because to understand Ashley means knowing beyond Butch's sexual abuse three times a week and beyond the bravery it took for a young girl to tell Butch's wife about the abuse. Yes, she did turn him in, but what she did after that was treat me horribly. What happened next should have been the start of a new chapter. Butch in prison, Ashley living with the man Butch tried to keep her from, Craig Peterson. But Ashley couldn't turn the page. This was the beginning of the downhill slope of the dark road. She and her dad reached a settlement with the state to get therapy expenses paid, but that only made things worse. I felt like I was saying it was okay for what he did to me by accepting that money. She started acting out in school, fights, suspensions. She didn't pay traffic tickets and then lost her license. She eventually moved away to Atlanta to start over. But she got arrested twice for driving without a license. She lived in a motel for several months and turned to prostitution. Prostitution is something that people do when they don't have any other identity. They identify with being something to be used. They identify with being something that's to be discarded. She says mentally, Butch kept a grip on her, even from behind bars. The real key to healing is us. It is, it, 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 it's the victim. In 2014, with the help of her dad, she started facing her demons. She went back to Anderson, where her life was forever changed. She was diagnosed with PTSD and borderline personality disorder. She got treatment. You're almost learning how to react and think and speak all over again to be more positive in your own life. Some days are still hard, but she says she wants to confront the now 71-year-old Butch back in jail as of Saturday for violating his probation. Then I feel like I'm truly not over it, but it just isn't holding as much power over me anymore. What she'll say to him, she doesn't know but she finally sees her path forward.